Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. So tonight what we're going to do is we are going to unbox this Amplify HD that was sent to me by Ubiquity. I'd like to thank them for sending this out. So uh, they're not paying me for this other than they sent me the unit. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a few videos out of this. This first one, we're going to take it out of the box. We're going to measure it using our official measuring tool that was sent to us by Dennis Pillow over in Indianapolis. And... Um, we're going to physically set it up, we're going to update it today, and then over the next few videos we're going to explore the features of Unify because there has been some new, or not Unify, Amplify, because there has been some, some new changes. So let's, uh, let's go over to the, uh, the unboxing. Okay, so we have the Amplify HD by Ubiquity. We're going to take the official H5 measuring utility and so the box is about uh, 11 and a half by a little over 11 and a half by five and a quarter ish so you got what the unit looks like on the front side has the ubiquity logo the back more marketing information and then here you can see there's a little tab so we've got to get this plastic off and then get the unit out of the package we'll take some measurements and stuff before we set it up Okay, and we have the unit, the box out, and I will say that the box is probably confusing. I've had a couple of these uh, before, so there's a box inside of a box inside of a inside of a box. This actually folds open. You see how? Yeah. Here we go. Folds open like this, and then inside you have. Here's your mesh points, here's the main unit, and then uh, I think power is in there. So let's open this up. Okay, so here's the main unit. Um, it is wrapped in plastic. Let's get a measurement on this guy. So about four inches by four inches. by four inches, so almost a, a perfect cube. All kinds of paper. This is a consumer product. And uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty light on the front. You can see the, this is the LED uh, screen. I don't know how well you can see that. And then on the bottom, this is amplified and there's our reset button. Then on the back we've got four LAN ports, our WAN port, our power which appears to be a USB-C, it may not be, and then a USB. So there's that part of it. Um, inside the UBNT box There is an Ethernet cable. The Amplify story. There's Robert Para, his signature there, telling the story. And then we have a QSG 
that you'll notice this is different than other QSGs. It's in a nice book and uh, staple, got a nice finish on it. So we're going to need this guy when we actually go to do the setup. All right, what else is in the box? Got the main unit. And back here. Here's the power brick. And that does appear to be a USB-C type connector. And then we have the mesh points themselves. And you can see it's actually magnetic. So you can move these guys around as you need. You plug it into the wall. So uh, that's really it for the unboxing. Let's get a measurement on this guy real quick. Uh, we'll, we'll go back we'll go back to the power brick. So the power brick is a little over an inch and an eighth by two by about an inch. And then that's probably a three foot power cape uh, cord. Then the bottom of the mesh point is about an uh, inch and three quarters by almost three inches by an inch and it is three prong on the receptacle. Then the other part of this from tip to stern is about seven inches by about uh, two and a half by about an inch and a half. So you take those two, put them together, and that's your mesh point. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get all the plastic off all of this, and then we're gonna download the, uh, actually what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go through the quick start guide, and then we're gonna plug this in and, and get it, uh, get it up and going. All right, <clears throat> so here's the main unit itself back there. You can see that is a Unify SHD access point. Here I actually have a USB-C type power adapter for a gaming console. We're actually gonna try to, instead of me climbing back behind the TV to plug this in, we're gonna see if we can power this with the uh, with this. This is uh, for uh, Nintendo Switch. Let's see if we can power this guy that way. <clears throat> then here we have the Ethernet cable, the provided Ethernet cable. And we're going to pretend that the ISP connection is actually the second interface on that uh, on that SHD right there. So let's uh, see if we can get this done here. So, I'm going to take this Ethernet cable out. Now, this, I've not done this. Like, literally took the plastic off this. This could melt this unit down. I have absolutely no, no idea. But, uh, they be my guess that if they're using USB-C, that it's going to be uh, pretty close. So, we're going to go into the secondary port here. This is kind of a kind of an odd angle. I'm trying not to get uh, too much up into the uh, the field of view there. All right, put that guy back. That's at least going to give our uh, WAN interface on this NIP. So we're going to plug into the WAN port, and then here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, yep, looks like uh, Nintendo Switch power did the trick. So we're booting. And by the way, if you can hear that noise, it's uh, fire on the TV. All right, look, adapter error. Adapter error. So it wants the Unify or the Amplify adapter. So. Let's uh, unplug this 
and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I managed to get the Ubiquiti Amplify power adapter plugged in. So now let's see what happens. So yeah, that's interesting to me that that it knew that this was not its power cord. So there's some uh, stuff going on there. <clears throat> now it may be that the Nintendo Switch uh, adapter and the Amplify adapter are putting out different voltages and that that could be one of the of the issues there. I uh, I didn't even look at that. So you can see it's booting. And it's still booting. There it is. Okay, so um, it's kind of hard to read the screen, but this has an amplify. This is amplify there. Please connect to this Wi Fi network for setup. I don't want to do that. Tap for another option. Please connect to this network. So I thought we didn't have to use the app to set this up. Uh, let me grab that QSG real quick. Let's see. Quick start guide. Plug it in. Non-app users. Uh, oh, we have to use a computer or a tablet. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, use my phone. And we are going to go out to, let's see, the Play Store. And uh, we are going to search for Amplify. And there it is. So we'll install it. And yep, yeah, we'll accept. So it's downloading. And as soon as it is done downloading, we'll open it up and we'll see uh, we'll see what's shaking here. It's like it's uh, installing. And so now we're going to go ahead and open the app and continue. And we want to set up Amplify Mesh System. Okay, yep, connected. We already did that. Yep, we powered on. And so now here we see our, we can see that we have this router available so we're gonna click this guy it's gonna go into a setup screen here please wait and it made a little bit of a noise I'm gonna <coughs> dismiss this for a second name your network amplify choose a password Amplify two and we'll hit continue. Now we've got please wait and it made its little ooh, it's making noises. That's always good, right? Please wait while it's configured. Now we look at the screen over here says 2.4.3 update is available. We can dismiss it or we can hit the update button. <clears throat> and uh, now my phone is now connected to the Amplify network. And now it's saying control your Amplify system from anywhere using your social account. I'm going to skip that for the moment. And I'm going to skip it again for the moment. And it says that uh, updates are available. So let's go back over here. If I click update, update now Amplify will be unavailable during the install. Install. So now it's going to be upgrading. Um, just something to note here 
is that uh, it knows that both of those mesh points are offline. And now it knows that this unit is offline. So we're going to let this upgrade real quick. All right, so while we were waiting for the upgrade to happen, I went ahead and took all the plastic off the mesh points because we're going to plug those in next. So uh, the upgrade is done, and it comes up, and it says, uh, you know, it wants to know the time and the date and all that stuff. So um, it's got a thing from December 1st to now, and we hit the screen. Here's our WAN IP. Here's our router IP. So our WAN is 192.68.66 at 247, and the actual router is 112.1. Here's uh, speed, current speed our port status, so we've got power, WAN, nothing plugged into anything else, and then the uh, time and date. So we're going to open our app back up, so, and it's going to be uh, waiting, it's going to connect. So now um, you can look at this and see that it has Amplify, but uh, the mesh points are Okay, so I plugged in both mesh points, and I waited uh, just a couple minutes, and everything is online. It says everything is great. So at this point, we've got this set up. You can see we've got one client connected to it, which would be my phone. But uh, we're going to get into some of the advanced configuration on this because there's actually a web-based service now that we're going to look at. Um, you can see here's the uh, throughput real quick. We could... Uh, see if we can get this ISP uh, test to run by clicking the, uh, we clicked the little dial that was down there. And so now it is testing the download and it's going to test the upload. So it tested the download, now it's on the upload. So we'll see. So it got uh, 85 megabits down, 19 megabits up with a 39 millisecond ping. That's uh, pretty good considering all of everything that's going on on this network. Um, the guest is off. Now, we can pause internet on devices and we can create profiles for our uh, family members, schedule their internet access, and then we can take a look a little bit at the diagnostic screen here. Now you'll notice too, back on this it is telling us that uh, an update is available so we will click update it says update now and we will go ahead and install and it is going to update again so the, uh, the update is done and you can see it's still got the time and the date so at this point we uh, we're done with the unboxing and the setup on this guy next video we're gonna get into a little bit more of the configuration so once again, thank you to Ubiquity for sending the Amplify HD to me. We're going to do a few videos on this. Um, I think that it's worth spending a little time because I do think that it's a product that can work for a lot of people that don't want to manage a full unified system. And, you know, just, you know, keep coming back and, you know, if you're interested. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use the Amazon affiliate link down there if you want to buy your own Amplify. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a few bucks to the channel. Keep this gear rolling in. And once again, thanks for being here, and we'll see you in the next video.